time for a new video. I bought a new camera. So hopefully video quality and sound, everything is much better than before. But now it seems like the only problem is the SD card I bought is too slow. So maybe still this video will suck, but let's see. Hopefully it will be good. Today I've been to exit and entry administration to get the passport after I apply to extend my residence permit. I applied to extend it and move it to my new passport. They only did one thing. They moved it to my new passport, but they didn't extend it. So, that means I have to go back tomorrow again to apply. But it's a little bit annoying that they couldn't uh, move it to the new passport and extend it at the same time. It would have saved my time and, of course, also their own time. And a simplified life for everybody. I think it's a win-win situation there. But uh, it is what it is. Again, I found uh, where the new Shanghai library is. I actually had no idea. It's so easy to find. It's just here. Almost next to the exit and entry administration office. So I will turn the camera around and show you. It's really quite cool building. Right? The building is quite cool. It's actually some Danish architect behind it. I read a little bit about this library a couple of months ago. It's, uh, I think the name of the architect is uh, Schmidt Hammer Lassen. Why I know this is because I know them from the furniture business. And that's why I recognize their name. So it seems like they do a little bit of everything. save that for another day because the signs are all in Chinese and I have no idea what it says but at least now I know where it is so that's that will be a topic for another video but again it's really quite cool building so then uh, forget about books and libraries today I just go to the metro and get online too and go to downtown Shanghai and go for some meetings related to my trading business I found some interesting suppliers here in Shanghai I will uh, see if uh, perhaps I can get like some type of exclusivity for the Scandinavian market for their products it's related to office furniture, so it's a field I know quite well. Hopefully, they will let me be their agent. This new camera is supposed to um, have, a, I'm not sure what it's called in English, but like built-in stabilization. So when I walk like this, the video still should be very smooth. It will be interesting to see if it actually will be that way. It should be. But, uh, the only big question I have is the, the sound. If I'm speaking for nothing now, or if actually will be working later. <laughs> One thing quite cool with this camera is you turn it upside down. You quickly adjust the picture, so you can make a little bit interesting perspectives. No, I don't want shopping. Maybe oh. the oh, you want me? You want me in the video? Friend, China, <laughs> yes, good. China, good. Yeah, where are you from? Sweden. Sweden, good. Yes. Yes, very, very good. Sweden. Ah. I remember so many Sweden friend for China. Yes, it's a friend. Yes, exactly. It's a long time. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What do you want to buy? You for me. Oh yeah, I will. Thank you. 
that's one thing you need to be prepared for when you get to Shanghai Science and Technology Metro Station. The very helpful people who want you to spend the money in the fake market downstairs. But uh, after living here for a couple of years, the attraction of the fake market is gone. So, usually tell them no. So, maybe that's all for the video today. Today's video is more about testing the new camera to see the quality. And I, I stopped buying Starbucks before and checked out the videos I made so far. And the quality is uh, actually much better than with the old camera. So, I bought a DJI Action 4 camera. So, it's uh, interesting. It follows you very well when you move it around. So, hopefully, today's video is not shaking at all. And hopefully the sound quality is also good. Anyway, that's all for today. This is the shopping mall nearby where I live, by the way. Can be another one for the video about abandoned shopping malls in China. This one, I don't know. I lived in this area for five, six years and it's, uh, it's been quiet, to say the least.